Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing really really well. Uh, today it's very warm so I've got two fans, literally one behind me and one on the other side to keep me slightly sane because I am losing my mind. I'm melting like an ice cream. Anyway, <laughs> except for that everything as well. Um, yeah, so today we are doing uh, a summer look for using um, high-end products. I've done a drugstore edition of this which I will link for you here somewhere and yeah let's um let's just you know get on with this right so to start off with primer we are going with in with the Too Faced hangover primer this is absolutely beautiful because it gives you really really good hydration it um helps even out your pores i mean fills in your pores and everything it's just absolutely beautiful and i love it like when you put it on your skin it actually feels like your skin is having like a glass of water it's beautiful now that we are done with the primer we are gonna go in with i want to do two very light layers of two different foundations that i use um only because they've got different effects on the skin so the first one i'm using is this one from charlotte tilbury this is her light wonder youth perfect youth boosting perfect skin foundation uh, in, in uh, s15 i have the color in the color full fair to give this a little shake and why i use this is because oops um it gives like a really nice glow to the skin without and it ha doesn't have like a really like huge coverage um it does have a bit of spf but to be honest 15 is not really enough so i just use this like a first layer um after my primer because i want to amp up my spf without adding extra spf on my face um, i'm going to use this um my it cc cream in um this is this, this, this in the color light um, and it has SPF 50 in so I've got 40, uh, 15 and 50 so this should cover me really nicely just adding that to the center of my face and just massaging it in right so that's our foundation done uh, now we will go in with the concealer uh, but before we go in with concealer I just want to do some correcting so I'm just going to add the tiniest bit of my corrector um, that I always use this is the Benefit Boing Brightening Concealer but I use it as a corrector because it's peachy toned um, in the colour 2 and I use the tiniest amount just to add in the innermost corner in the most and to be honest it does do like a fairly good um, job in you can see there's darkness in like between the eyes however we do need like a bit of concealer don't we so um, I'm gonna go in with my Pat McGrath concealer this is absolutely beautiful the color I have is LM10 now this is very full coverage it's very creamy so I'm just going to add one dot here one here here and here and because i don't want like loads of layers on my skin especially when it's warm so i want to keep it somewhat fresh if i can and then before we set everything i just want to add my eyeshadow primer um again not everyone needs to use this but i have very oily eyelids so i'm just using my urban decay primer potion this is the original one and i'm almost running out of it so i'm just going to add that onto my lids and then we are going to set everything now um, i'm using my charlotte tilbury finishing airbrush flawless finish skin perfecting micro powder my god that is mouthful um in the color two medium but mine is very very broken like literally it is can you see the state of that um i think i might need to buy a new one uh because this is broken and the funny thing is i didn't even travel with this it's it broke in, in my purse which is weird Okay. 
Right, now in with the bronzer. And for bronzer, I'm using my Chanel bronzer. Can you really go wrong with this though? Honestly, I absolutely love this. So I'm just going to take my brush. And I've actually noticed that if I use like a slightly stippling motion with this instead of like swiping, it does like, it does a better job because it's not like a powder, but it's not like a, I wouldn't really call it a cream either. It's like something in between, but it's absolutely beautiful. Right. Next, we're gonna go in with blush. And for blush, I'm actually using two, so I'm slightly cheating. Um, but they are like different textures. Um, so the first one I'm using is from MAC. This one is the X Dimension Blush in Cheeky Bits. It's like a beautiful corally pink color. And I absolutely love it, especially like in summer, because it gives you like a flush of colour without being over dramatic. You can be absolutely dramatic with this to be honest. Um, and I wouldn't mind being dramatic. Right. And then on top of that I want to add the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the colour Stoops Stereo Rose. I'm going to take my NARS brush and just add it right here. Can you see how beautiful that is? just gives you like the most beautiful pinky rosy glow now sometimes if I'm trying to be extra glowy uh, then I will add my Pat McGrath which I am going to do today so this is the Pat McGrath the golden skin fetish highlighter balm in duo so this is the balm I'm just going to take my right it's like a goldy finish I'm just going to add it right on top there and it just gives the most beautiful sheen. I'm going to keep it very, very simple. Um, and for that, I'm going to use my Tartiest Pro to go. You can see how dirty this is because it's very well loved. Um, Tarte palette. And the colour I'm going to be using is Crisp, which is like this. Um, it's like a burnt orange brown colour and I absolutely love it. So I'm going to take that all over the lid. I do sometimes is I take some on my finger and just add it right on the base of my lashes to make it almost like it was it's like going from dark to light so it has like a gradient effect if you don't want to then I sometimes take this shiny shimmery shade called hype and take that onto my pinky finger and add it on the corners of my eye like so eyebrows now uh, and for brows I'm going to use the benefit gimme brow in the color I want to say three yeah as you all know I don't well, I'm not the best with brows anyway so just working what we have and for mascara I'm using my hourglass this is the mini one in caution extreme lash mascara it's such a beautiful mascara but the, you know what I have realized there's so many nice drugstore ones that I don't usually um, reach for my high-end ones I'm usually using my um, drugstore ones now before we go on to lipstick um, I do I do like to amp up my glow uh, because it's summer why not um, and I'm just going to use my hourglass um, ambient lighting powder in the color ethereal light and what I like doing is just taking like a big fluffy brush and just adding that on like around my t-zone and a bit where I've already highlighted because it just gives like the whole face a very soft finished look with lipstick I am going to go in with my lip pencil this is from MAC uh, and this is a colour called hodgepodge I mean for lipstick I'm going to be using my one of my favourite 
Charlotte Tilbury. This is called um, Gracefully Pink. It was previously called Amazing Grace. finished look guys I really hope you like this this is an absolutely beautiful summery glow please give this a big thumbs up if you do please please subscribe guys it's absolutely free and it will mean the world to me if you do and I'll see you guys later bye